heading to the hot seat. Inspector General Michael Horowitz, FBI Director Christopher Wray, taking to the Hill in a matter of hours, ready to answer questions before Congress. This in the aftermath of the IG's bombshell report that said former FBI Director James Comey did not act within protocol during the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Here now, Adrian Elrod, former senior aide to Hillary for America, and conservative columnist Gina Loudon. Adrian, what do you want to hear from Horowitz? Because I think that what we saw in that IG report, there was enough in there to make Democrats angry as well. Yeah, no, absolutely, Dagan. You're exactly right. I want to understand, first of all, um, some of the methodology uh, that went into the report. Um, I think there's still a lot of unanswered questions that we have. Um, and secondly, one of the big things that I want to find out, not just from Michael Horowitz, but from Christopher Ray, is how was James Comey allowed to use his personal email uh, to conduct FBI business when that was the very, uh, you know, investigation that was being looked into from Hillary Clinton? So, again, uh, lots of unanswered questions, and I think that's exactly, uh, I think the real news today is going to come from this testimony from Michael Horowitz. Gina Loudon, what do you say? What do you want to hear? I'd like to understand how it is that they go about knowing what someone's motive is. I thought it was very interesting that after all of the wrongdoing that we know about, uh, this report sounded an awful lot like when Comey came out and said, these are all the things that Hillary Clinton has done wrong, but we find no wrongdoing. Same thing here. They spoke to motivation. You know, my background is in psychology, Dagan, and I really am curious about how it is they come to determine motivation, because if I'm looking for evidence of motivation, it looks like there was plenty there to me, so I don't understand that part. President Trump was tweeting on FBI agent Peter Strzok, the agent who sent anti-Trump texts to his then-girlfriend, tweeting, quote, why was the FBI's sick loser, Peter Strzok, working on the totally discredited Mueller team of 13 angry and conflicted Democrats when Strzok was giving crooked Hillary a free pass, yet telling his lover, lawyer Lisa Page, that we'll stop Trump from becoming president? Witch hunt. Gina Strzok has, it now says um, through his attorney that he is willing to testify before Congress without a subpoena. What should happen to him in the end? Fired, I, not just fired, but certainly the audience on Twitter this morning is talking about obstruction of justice charges. Absolutely. I wholeheartedly agree with the president's assessment. He is part of the swampy witch hunt that we've been seeing going on at taxpayer expense for far too long. He was entrusted far too much. And the fact that he's still there is an absolute disgrace. And of course he's willing to testify. That doesn't make him brave. That makes him greedy, Dagan, because next he gets his book offer, then he gets a contributorship with another network. That's how the path goes. He's seen it. He knows exactly what he's doing. Adrian. Yeah, look, I think this is going to be one of the questions that a lot of uh, members of the committee will be asking today, which is, you know, the report, of course, indicates that Peter Strzok did not use any, um, or rather his political feelings about the investigation did not actually impact the uh, outcome of the investigation. Um, so I think a lot of members of Congress will have many questions in, in terms of how Michael Horowitz came up with that determination. Uh, but, you know, again, I want to make it clear that Hillary Clinton is the one who ultimately lost um, in this whole situation when James Comey reopened the investigation 12 days before. So there's a lot of dots that don't seem to be connecting here completely. I think members of Congress will have a lot of questions on many questions today. That's a, Jason, that's a, what we hear from uh, Democrats very often. Will Hillary lost? Will Hillary lost? As if the kind of malfeasance and um, shenanigans, arguably illegal shenanigans, somehow don't matter because Hillary, because Look, Donald at, Trump won. At the end of these two days of hearings, I think what you're going to find is Democrats and Republicans are going to be united in their distaste for, for what the FBI Director Comey did. I mean, if that is 562 pages of animus and a rebuke of exactly what the FBI Director did and did not do. And if I'm a Democrat, which I'm not, but I would be upset. And Republicans are certainly going to be upset because there wasn't a true investigation. The other thing I think is going to be fascinating this, I'm interested in what uh, both of you have to say about this, but will the Democrats step up and support the Republican efforts to actually extract and see these documents? Because Democrats at some point are going to want to see documents on Donald Trump, but they are nowhere to wanting to see the background and the documents on this investigation. Gina, to you first on that. Yeah, Jason makes such a great point. Thank you for that. You know, these people work for 
us, the American people, and we elected Congress, who, by the way, I believe created these departments in the first place. They should be answering to them. It's an embarrassment that it's taken even a day to respond to congressional requests for oversight. And, and to take a weeks or months or over a year is obscene. And I hope that Congress will realize well, the power that it does have given to them by the American people and will play a major role in making sure this happened. I hope they're really done with well, it. Well, Adrian, do the Democrats realize ultimately this will could bite them in the backside? Because again, it, the, the circle goes round and round. And if you don't, if you don't force uh, the justice and FBI to, to cough up these documents, then ultimately Democrats will run into the same thing, which is exactly what Jason was saying. Yeah, look, you know, I think that the, from what I understand, the Department of Justice is scrambling to try to get these documents to uh, fulfill the request by, um, by Congressman Nunez. But, you know, again, this is coming, these documents are coming from the Trump DOJ from the Department of Justice. So it's, it's essentially no, under look, the Department Adrian, of Justice's... You, you, you make a great point about this. I mean, this is a Republican who was nominated uh, by Republicans, confirmed by Republicans. But the core question here is, we're, the, the FISA, for instance, document is two pages. And it's been under a subpoena issued by Congress for months. But I haven't seen Adam Schiff, I haven't seen any of the Democrats standing up and also demanding to see well, these documents. Let me run this piece of sound from Devin Nunes. He's the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, uh, talking about those certain documents with Maria Bartiromo yesterday. He's issued a warning of sorts if he doesn't get them. Listen to him. If documents do not begin to be turned over tomorrow and, and a, a clear way and path forward for everything else is not clear here in the next couple days, uh, there's gonna be hell to pay by Wednesday morning. I have many members on the Intelligence Committee that, that, are, that are Republicans that are trying to get to the bottom of these issues. They're relying on me to get the document so that they can complete the investigation that we began. Since you were talking about it, I interrupted. Final word on that, Jason. No, look, the, everybody in the Congress, Democrat and Republican, should stand behind and get these documents. It's openness, it's transparency, it's accountability, and let's see where the truth takes us. Right, and ultimately, we all suffer, the American people. Adrian Elrod, Gina Loudon, it's great to see both of you ladies this morning. Thank you so much. Great to see you all, Dagan.